Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and God's court with praise. To thanks and blessing. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. All of God's faithfulness through all generations. The psalm of the day is on page 786 of the hymnals. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Deliver, deliver me from death, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue sh will sing aloud your deliverance. For you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give burnt offerings, you would not be pleased. Ladies and gentlemen, the complete history of the Old Testament in just 10 minutes. In the beginning, God creates, six days working, seventh weights. In God's image, man is made, set to rest in Eden's shade. Tree of knowledge, tree of life, takes a rib to make a wife. All would still be resting quiet if those two had watched their diet. Now the serpent was the craftiest creature of all creatures that the God had made. Say there, sister, why not sink your incisors into this succulent sample of sweetness? I don't know. It says the Godhead General has determined that eating this fruit may be hazardous to your soul. Oh, spare me. You should decide for yourself. You weren't born yesterday, were you? No, the day before. I rest my case. Adam, Eve, where are you? Because you have eaten of the tree which I forbade you, dust you are, to dust you shall return.
Adam and Eve, where are you? Why are you hiding in shame? So far away from the promise of dawn, and the Lord is calling your name. Before the world was formed, I knew you. The day you were born, I could see. No time or space can divide us. One day I will come, one day I will come, and I will bring you home to me. Even Adam leave their place, no trespassing but by grace. Final days are spent in pain, weeding thistles, raising claim. Now the Lord God did not intend to leave human beings without a hope. God promised a day would come when the child of Eve would crush the power of the serpent. But many years of grief and waiting lay between that promise and its fulfillment. Cain's a farmer. Abel's not. Abel's favorite. Cain gets hot. Soon their sibling rivalry ends in murder, first degree. Others copy this beginning till they build a world of sinning. God observes what they have made, decides, decides to reign on their parade. Lord, had you know build me an archiarchy. Lord, said to know build me an archiarchy. Make it out of a group, archi, archi, children of the Lord. So, you want to know about rainbows? Let me start at the beginning. When my husband Noah first told me about his big plan, I thought he was crazy. But you know how men get when they turn 600 and all. All of a sudden, they want to build a boat, sail away somewhere. I don't know, they just... Not everyone, let's build an ark. <laughs> and so he and the family went right to work. And after a law of sawing, and hammering, and painting, the boat was finished. And, as if they hadn't made a big enough mess already, Noah said to collect two of every living, breathing creature, and once he had them all pinned up on the front yard, he waved his hand, and they all started to move towards the boat. Who would have thought? First came hard barks, dancing up and down with glee, praising God that Noah chose to load them alphabetically. Further down the line, there were his cat calls, cause the vipers and the zebras didn't like the plan at all. There were hopping kangaroos, there were hyperactive shrews, birds and bats and butterflies and other things that flew. Animals that slithered with their bellies on the ground And bees and used the cats with cats and dogs to get around Millipedes were marching on a thousand tiny feet And the camels all were tripping cause they couldn't keep the beat The octopi walked with a special kind of charm As it came up the path They passed Mrs. Noah in the middle of the crowd. The cats all curtsied, the dogs fell out. Elephants saluted by raising their trunks, though I suspect they did it to just not to smell the scars. <coughs> Seals swam forward and started to applaud as the birds sang out to the glory. And when the big
big storm came, God kept us safe and sound inside the boat. Who would have thought? And now that's when we saw it, the very first rainbow. And even today, no matter how crazy things get, I still think of how God's there smiling at us every time I see one. Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked to make a brief announcement. Seems we are running a little behind, so could you take out your programs and where you see the word 10 on the title page, cross it out and write 20 instead. That means you, Mr. Blackburn. You do that. You do it. Thank you. Many generations came and went. Then one day, God spoke to a man named Abraham and his wife Sarah in the land of Chaldeans. Abraham, Sarah, where are you? You mean us? I have chosen to establish a covenant with you from this day forward. Hey, that's fantastic. What's a covenant? I think it's like a contract. Do you know a promise? You must leave your country and your people and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and all the people on earth will be blessed through you. Hey, um, that might be a problem. Yeah, we don't have any children, and I'm 90 years old. I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven. Then I will be your God, and you will be my people. Wow, maybe we're going to have a son after all. Are you crazy? By the time he learns how to drive, I'll be 106. And trust me, no parent over 100, no person over 100 should ever be the parent of a teenager. But it's a promise from God. It's also impossible. I mean, how is it supposed to happen? God has a plan, God has a plan. When God makes a promise, the promise comes true. Even impossible things can be possible. Miracles happen when God chooses you. Sure enough, Abraham and Sarah had a son named Isaac. Isaac married a woman named Rebecca. Isaac and Rebecca had twins, Jacob and Esau. Jacob had a fight with his brother Esau, so Jacob ran away to another country. And there, he fell in love with a woman named Rachel. But he was tricked into marrying her sister Leah. So in the end, he married both of them. Such complicated stories, it sometimes makes you doubt. How can this be God's family? How will it all turn out? Then Jacob and Rachel and Leah had 12 sons who started the 12 tribes of Israel. And Jacob's favorite boy was Joseph. Last night, I had a dream that I was a prince, and you all had to bow down to me. Isn't that great? Yeah, right. How's that going to happen? God has a plan. God has a plan. When God makes a promise, the promise comes true. Even impossible things can be possible. Miracles happen when God chooses you. Now Joseph's brothers hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Teacher's pet, teacher's pet. In fact, they were so angry that one day they sold him to a hairy Ishmaelite who was passing by. Oh, no. The hairy Ishmaelite sold Joseph to a wealthy Egyptian named Potiphar. Oh, yes. Potiphar's wife falsely claimed Joseph attacked her, and he was taken to jail. Oh, no. 
The jail master discovered that Joseph could interpret dreams, and he brought him to the Pharaoh. Oh, yes! When Joseph explained the Pharaoh's dreams, the Pharaoh put him in charge of the entire land of Egypt. Yay! Do you ever wonder if God is directing your career? God has a plan, God has a plan. When God makes a promise, the promise comes true. Even impossible things can be possible. Miracles happen when God chooses you. With God's help, Joseph went on to do great things. After explaining the Pharaoh's dreams, he saved Egypt from a terrible famine. Then one day, he met his brothers again and forgave them. He told them this. Even when you tried to hurt me, God made good come out of it. God has a plan, God has a plan. When God makes a promise, the promise comes true. Even impossible things can be possible. Miracles happen when God chooses you. So Jacob and his sons and all their families moved to the land of Egypt. Now many years later, a new Pharaoh came to power who did not remember Joseph. He made slaves of the people of Israel and forced them to work. But God had not forgotten the promise and had a plan to rescue Hebrew people. Holy, Holy Moses, how? names even when you think you're batting zero god can use you in the game don't need no wonder woman don't need no man of steel praying is your superpower all you gotta do is kneel ten plagues later hebrews leaving pharaoh's bad enough to cost Lord, why me? After escaping from Egypt to the Red Sea, the people of Israel followed Moses on a journey through the desert. And God provided for their needs miraculously. In the desert Sinai Mountain. Tap a rock to get a fountain. Suddenly they see a wonder. God appears in smoke and thunder. Moses acts as arbitrator. Other folks say, see, see you later. later. Moses, Moses, where are you? I am Yahweh, the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt. Come to me on the mountain, 
and I will give you the commandments my people must follow. I've got good news and I've, I've got delicious news from Yahweh. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what is it? I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is you're God's chosen people. Yes. The bad news is you're God's chosen people. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid he's expecting a little something extra from you folks. And uh, he's added a few clauses to the contract on these stone tablets. Hey, don't complain. At least I kept, held him to 10. You should have seen number 87 before I talked him out of it. Look, you're just going to have to clean up your act. Now, I want you to take these two tablets and call me in the morning if there's any changes. Remember, if you quit goofing up, we could be wandering in circles out here for the next 40 years. Okay, let's do it. In an ark's commandment, rest. Just a fancy word for chess. God's directions disobeyed. Milk and honey is delayed. Forty years on desert sand till they reach the promised land. Moses dies before they claim it. Joshua's now the man to tame it. Joshua the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua the battle of Jericho, and the walls came a-tumbling down. Joshua puts up quite a fight, decimates those Amorites, tells the sun, stop your climb, I need daylight savings time. Then the soldiers he commands conquer half of Canaan land, keep on claiming real estate till it's time to celebrate. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to stop the show again. We have a slight problem. This is where you come in, Rick. Take out your program, and where you see 20, write 40 instead. <laughs> Just kidding. Just write 20. Now, after Joshua led the people into the promised land, they turned away from God and started worshiping idols. So God delivered them into the hands of their enemies, Ammonites, Midianites, Philistines, but when they were in great danger, the people would cry out to the Lord, and he would raise up a judge, a mighty leader, to save them. Have you heard about Gideon? Gideon? Yeah, he defeated the entire Midianite army. With a few hundred soldiers. How? I took clay jars and put them in tor and put torches in them. Then, in the middle of the night, my men crept up on the Midianites, broke those jars, and blew on trumpets. The Midianites thought they were surrounded by an th army of thousands and ran away. Take a look at Gideon. He fought the armies of Midian with a little bitty brassy band, 300 men picked by hand. Late at night he won the day With a couple of horns and jars of clay So great a guy, someday you'll see They're gonna name a Bible after me. destroy their enemies, so I called in a commander to do the job. Hey, Brock, go fight the Canaanites. No way, I'm not going without you. Well, all right, but if I go, you're not going to get any credit. So Deborah led God's people into battle, and when the Canaanite chariots got stuck in the mud, God's people triumphed. <laughs> Take a look at Deborah. Give a really big hepera, double threat who wore a dress. She was a judge and prophetess, led an army in a row. When another leader chickened out, so remember when it's time to fight. I'm twice the man of any Canaanite. Judges, judges, even when they're Have you ever heard of 
Samson? Samson? Yeah, he promised never to cut his hair, and God gave him great strength. Yeah, and then one night I told a Philistine woman named Delilah my secret. And the next time he went to sleep, I cut off his hair, and he lost all his strength. Then my people, the Philistines, captured him and chained him up. But my hair grew back, and I knocked down their temple with everybody inside. Take a look at Samson now. He was stronger than a herd of cows, so Delilah cut his hair. And the Philistines found him there, so they chained him center stage. His tragic act of rage, his final line caused quite a fight. I'm bringing down the house. Judges, judges. Yet even though the Lord God saves the people of Israel again and again, they continued to stray. The day came when the entire countryside was in danger of being overrun by the Philistines. The people of God cried out and asked for a king to save them. God heard their call for help and sent the prophet Samuel to answer them. problem here. We want a king. We want a king. But you do have a king. The great Lord Yahweh is your Not king. Alright, alright, alright. You want a king? I'll give you a king, but you're gonna be sorry. Alright everybody, line up. Ten, hut. You there. What's your name? Saul, sir. Do you have any qualifications for this kind of work? I'm impatient, disobedient, stubborn, hot-headed, fickle, and faced with interpersonal conflict. I also need to learn to use my words instead of stabbing people. Son, for this job, you're perfect. The great Lord Yahweh has chosen you as the ruler of Israel. Saul, along with his boy John, soon display a lot of brawn. Philistines are on the run from the team of Saul and son. Saul is not a faithful man, doesn't follow Yahweh's plans. When he sees a chance for wealth, he decides to help himself. God annoyed at Saul's disgrace, David picked to take his place. Shepherd David sure can sing. Also handy with a sling. David, David, where are you? I am here, Lord. What do you want me to do? The Philistine giant Goliath has challenged my people to a fight to the death, but no one is brave enough to face him. I am just a shepherd, Lord, but you have always kept me safe. I'll fight Goliath. Hear, O Israel, this day I have found a man after my own heart. And so, armed with only a sling and five smooth stones, David went out to face the giant. David, 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 David. 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 With God's help, David defeated a giant and became a national hero. God can call the simple shepherd. Give him songs of praise to sing. Lift his arms to fight a giant. Raise him up to be a king. Praise for the city everlasting. Praise for the ruler of the throne. David 
star just kept rising. He battled all the enemies of Israel until he united the whole country and became the king with his capital at Jerusalem. Praise for the city of the blessed. Praise for the ruler on the throne. Praise you, Lord, for you have named us and claimed us as your own. Then David married a beautiful widow named Bathsheba. Everything looked perfect on the outside, but one day God spoke to the prophet Nathan and revealed a terrible secret. It was David who ordered Bathsheba's husband killed so he could steal her for himself. So God sent me to confront David. Oh king, I come to tell you a most disturbing tale, a story of injustice where evil has prevailed. Yes, the king is good. Yes, the king is wise. He has the heart of God. He will not stand for lies. Yes, the king is brave. Yes, the king will fight. He hates and sees the wrong. He always puts it right. Go ahead, Nathan. What happened? A shepherd had a thousand sheep. He was a wealthy man. His neighbor was a peasant who owned a single lamb. But when a rich man had a guest who came to die one night, he stole his neighbor's lamb and put it to the knife. And David burned with anger and vowed to God on high. This wealthy, wealthy man will pay for it. He deserves to die. Yes, the king is brave. Yes, the king will fight. David sees it wrong, he always puts it right. Go ahead, Nathan. Who did this horrible thing? You did, David. <laughs> Hear the word of the Lord. Because you have slain Uriah the Hittite and taken his wife Bathsheba to be your own, the sword will never depart from your house, for you have despised my word and done what is evil in my sight. Then David repented for what he had done. Lord, you know all my secrets the things I'm afraid to say out loud. I thought my heart belonged to you and only you, but that's not true anymore. The things I've done, the lies I've told, I'm sorry. I know I've sinned, I've disobeyed, I feel so lost, so far away. Please let me know that you are there. Please show your face, Lord, hear my prayer. Give me a clean heart. Give me a clean heart. Take my spirit. Make it new. I need forgiveness and I need you. Give me a clean heart, oh God. We offer you our broken lives and you receive our sacrifice. You heal the
David was always remembered as the greatest king of Israel. God promised that one of David's descendants would start a kingdom that would last forever. And even though David sinned and suffered many heartaches in his life, God still planned to fulfill that promise. Hello again. Uh, I really really, really, really hate to interrupt, but you're going to have to get your pencils out. That, that's you, Rick. It's you. It's your... One more time. But this time, you'll have to write 40. Four. Zero. Thank you. Well, you still have about 500 years to go. This is impossible! Uh, folks, this is kind of embarrassing, but it looks like we're not going to finish. Yeah, maybe the best you can do is make the rest yourselves. We're somewhere in the province. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. You do? What is it? What if we told everybody to read their Bibles? like tenements or day or something. I mean, you can go through the whole Bible, I mean, the whole Old Testament in one day, but if you read a little bit at a time, you'd get through it all eventually, right? Yeah! Come on, let's get out of here before they figure out there's a scam! Right? <laughs> children! Children! Where are you? You must not leave my people without a hope and without an ending to the story you have begun. Proclaim the word of the prophet. For those who have walked in darkness shall see the light. For unto you a child is given, unto you a son will be born, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, 